Tell me how you want it. Yeah. Call me in a moment. Hello, my beautiful people. And today I want to share with you my wash day routine. So let's get started. So first I am taking my hair down. It was in a braid. I wear a braid in my hair all week long. Next, I am going to be going in with a um, with some olive oil to do a little pre-poo before I wash my hair. <clears throat> so I use organic, you know, coconut oil. Any brand will do. And I'm going to lather that all over my hair from the roots to the tips. Okay, so after that's done, my hair is nicely lathered in the coconut oil i will be going in with some co-wash i use the cream of nature organ oil co-wash you can use any um you know kind that you want shampoo co-wash anything you want it's your preference it doesn't matter so after i pre-pooed i'm going in with my co-wash and i'm gonna get me a little lather going yeah i'm just gonna be um you know rubbing it in getting the lather going but when you use a co-wash guys ladies it's not gonna be as soapy as shampoo so it's gonna be you know kind of a creamy because you know shampoo dries your hair out so I prefer a co-wash and when I do use shampoo I use it like only like once a month but I only co-wash about maybe once a month also I usually wash my hair with conditioner so yes, I'm getting a lather going. You see the curls are starting to, to pop a little bit. And I'm going to move to my other side of my head. And do the same exact thing. Right now I'm calling Bay to pass me my Vanity Planet, um, you know, scalp massager brush thingy, but he never came, so I just use my hands. All right, so next I'll be going in with the whole blends conditioner. And this is my preference. You can use any conditioner you would like, you know, of your choice. And I'll be going in with that from my roots to my tips again. And next I'll be going in with a brush. Okay, so ladies, I don't finger to tingle. It doesn't work for me. I tried. It's not, you know, it's not pretty. It's not cute. And also, this is an older video, so I do have a new detangler brush now that works ten times better. But, yeah, I didn't know back then. But anyway, so that's what I'll be doing, um, detangling my hair with the conditioner. And this conditioner I'm using right here, the whole blends, it has great slip. And it's very moisturizing, you should try it. Yes, curls come through. So now I'll be going in with the Herbal Essence Conditioner. And this has amazing slip, ladies. Like, it's better than the one before I just used. Like, and it smells really, really good. And I will now be putting my hair in a two-strand twist and leaving it like that for, you know, when I go in with my deep conditioner. And now I'll be doing the same exact thing on this side, starting with the whole blends conditioner to the Herbal X Essence conditioners. Yes, so first go in with your first conditioner. Here I go going back in with the Herbal Essence Conditioner and getting that great slip, you know, and get my hair greatly detangled on this side as well. Alright, now I'll just be an extra. I'm just showing you guys, you ladies, my curls, you know, just, you know, showing off just a little bit. <clears throat> so here's my hair nicely conditioned with the Herbal Essence Conditioner on my hair. The curls came back, you know, they're moist and they're shiny as well. Yes, yes, yes. And after that, ladies, I will be going in with, with my all time favorite, one of my OGs, the Shea Moisture. This one's called the 
I can't even pronounce it, but it's it's a real good. I will link it down below in the description box. This is my second favorite Shea Moisture um, deep conditioner. My first one is the hold on a minute let me get the name because you know it's you know i've been using these conditioners for years now like literally like for years since like my journey since i started in 2012 but my og is going to be the raw shea butter deep treatment mask that's my my og right there but that one i ran out and i don't have the name of it but it's, it's like something like intensive um, manku honey yeah but it's real good so I'm going in with that, you know, all over my hair. You get a good lather in there, you know, slob it on there, you know. You can never have too much conditioner, ladies. Never have too much. And honestly, got ladies, it looks like I'm not putting that much in my hair, but my hair is just soaking it up, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, enjoying it. So go in with as much as you would like. And now I'm just you know, going to be, you know, combing that conditioner through my hair evenly, getting it all in there in every part, every direction, every course, getting it in, in there, honey. And now, bam, bun. Now I'll be deep conditioning my hair for... 30 minutes under the hair dryer. Do not skip this step. That is the biggest step of my weekly wash routines. Never skip the deep conditioner. All right, so my camera cut off here, ladies, so I apologize for that. So, yeah, I can't see that the next, you know, goodness of after my hair was, you know, done deep conditioning. But let me tell you. The curls were beautiful, they were moist, they were flourishing, they looked amazing. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it to you